So one time, as you said, you were new to benchmarking as well, and we still have nowadays organizations which are just starting with benchmarking. Which hints do you have for them? Well, uh, there are four of them. Um, first of all, I mentioned we were a copier company, but we also encourage people not to copy the best practices, but to bring those best practice understandings back to the organization and charge them to innovatively and creatively implement. In effect, even increasing the opportunity uh, of benching, benchmarking while they implement. That was a real key understanding. Uh, you don't just copy, uh, you improve on what you've learned uh, and even set yourself apart uh, with that. The second one has to do with ensure that steps of the process are followed. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've found uh, people saying, uh, look, we've done some benchmarking and, and we're dissatisfied with the results. And if you probe even just a little bit about, uh, you know, what were they benchmarking, whom were they benchmarking against, and what resources did they access, uh, you'll find that those some of those steps uh, probably were not done with the thoroughness that should have been. So that's number two. Um, the, th the third one is do not become obsessed with data. Um, your grade in probably effort uh, in doing benchmark is probably 85% uh, concentrating on the uh, understanding of the best practices and only 15%, at least in my opinion, uh, on uh, getting uh, performance um, measures that will substantiate uh, the output of the best practices. Um, and uh, people have a tendency to think this is a numbers game. It's not. Uh, a couple few key leading indicators, perhaps three to six and so forth. Uh, all we needed was uh, a number that said, hey, uh, the picking process uh, was uh, so many uh, picks per man day. That was it, no more than that. That said, hey, there's three times faster. And then lastly, uh, searching. Uh, you know, uh, you can certainly use Mr. Google. There's no question about that. But uh, searching on the internet is like fishing in the ocean. Um, it's, it's probably going to give you uh, what you want but uh, the level of thoroughness that you need to go through in actually searching uh, where you are really not an expert at doing that, um, I always recommend that uh, people use the uh, services of a research librarian. Those people know the databases that should be accessed. Those people know what are the key words to be used uh, for the topic that you're researching. And they're the ones that should be um, uh, you know, part of the uh, the benchmarking process. So those are the four key uh, lessons learned that we've had, uh, and uh, we stress them uh, quite often. 